Kaufman Scholars Program is taking a break, but not falling back on its original promise. Beth Vaughn joins us to explain. Krista, the Kaufman Foundation has decided not to induct a new set of seventh graders as Kaufman Scholars. While it might disappoint some, the foundation hopes the program comes back stronger than ever. DC is amazing. Back in town from a successful freshman year at Howard University. My second semester, I came in strong with a 3.8. Jennifer Pegas gushes with excitement. <laughs> we first met two years ago when I mentored Jennifer during her senior year in the Kaufman Scholars Program. She's interested in broadcasting. Today, she told me the hard work paid off. I literally pay absolutely nothing. No student loans, no financial stress, all thanks to a decision she made as a seventh grader. As a seventh grader, I don't think I even had the, capac the capacity to understand what a full ride scholarship meant, <laughs> but now I'm really understanding. This year, seventh grade students won't be able to become Kaufman scholars. It was important right now to take a pause and to analyze what we've learned. Monroe Richardson says the Kaufman Foundation is only planning on a one year hiatus from recruiting new youngsters into the program. You know, Ewing Kaufman was someone who had really high standards. He says those standards sometimes require reflection. Election. Absolutely not a money issue. Uh, we have $2 billion uh, at the Kaufman Foundation. Uh, this is about spending the money in the best possible way to ensure we get the best outcomes for kids in Kansas City. During the break, the Kaufman Foundation will continue to mentor and provide scholarships for Jennifer and the 1,800 other scholars already in the program. Kaufman Scholars began in 2003 as a way for students from the urban core of Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas to become college ready. Well, with how readily low income families move around, one question Richardson says they'll analyze during this year break is whether or not to expand the geographical boundaries of the program. Beth Vaughn, 41 Action News.